him an obvious chance. Here's Stewart. York injured spirit under Jason Hart, the last one. All in. They're off. The Stella Group handicap and extended mile and a quarter out back blue and hat trick seeking John Egan, the slowest to leave the stalls. Mooker Red in the cheek piece has got a bright start and that leads them down the straights through the first couple of hundred yards to Rainbow Rebel Black Cap dropping in against the rail. And save the bees in a sheepskin noseband. Devere Cliffs up the fence is quite keen next door to Royal Flag. Your kindred spirit pale jacket settling in midfield with Brandon Castle just ease back off heels as they go to the road crossing. One or two just having to jostle for a position. Fantasy Gladiator in the red and white tucks it on the inside. Then there's a four or five length break to Henshaw and Outback Blue who are the final pair travelling up the viaduct side of the track and inside the seventh. So Mukared are dictating the gallop here to save the bees on the outside of Rainbow Rebel. Devere Cliffs close up on the inside in fourth. Royal Flag in an orange and white jacket is next and your kindred spirit circling the field. Brandon Castle in the dark blue hasn't really settled. He's got Fantasy Gladiator pushing up on his inside and two lengths away to Outback Blue, the pink jacket around the outer of Henshaw. Across the far side they go, passing through the halfway point and Mukared and Martin Harley are still leading up. Rainbow Rebel has got clear sail now around the outer moves within three parts of a length of the lead. De Beer Cliffs on the inside of the nose banded save the bees. Royal flag is wider fantasy gladiator. Then your kindred spirit Brandon Castle. Henshaw in the uh, dark blue and yellow on the inside next door still to outback blue. They're fairly well clustered up as they head on towards the three. They'll be about seven lengths first to last. Mooker Red by a small lead to the hat trick seeking Rainbow Rebel. De Beer Cliffs slip streaming save the bees out wide. Then Royal flag your kindred spirit pushed around the outer. Fantasy Gladiator and Brandon Castle are next to the outback. Blue Henshaw is now outpaced. Bit of a dash for home here inside the two. And Rainbow Rebel and Richard Kingscott have moved through to just about take over from Mukared. De Vere Cliffs is chasing your kindred spirit down the centre, keeping on from Fantasy Gladiator. But it's Rainbow Rebel in front as they pass the furlong. A few coming out of the pack. De Vere Cliffs down the outside. Brandon Castle is thundering home. Outback Blue trying to squeeze up the inside of Fantasy Gladiator. Rainbow Rebel, De Vere Cliffs as they come close home, Rainbow Rebel just does it up, completes the hat-trick, beats De Vere Cliffs, Fantasy Gladiator, Brandon Castle, and Outback Blue didn't see much daylight up the inner. Rainbow Rebel wins, returns the 5-2 favourite for Mark Johnston and Richard Kingsco, the second winner on the card here at Chester uh, for Mark Johnston, and showing a really likeable attitude. I, I say he's shown a likeable attitude, He's shown a sort of typical Mark Johnston attitude, Rainbow Rebel, in, in, in sort of not being afraid of defeat and really wanting victory because of it. But in saying that, I think De Vere Cliffs may not have been fully enamoured with going past Rainbow Rebel in the closing stages. So for all that Rainbow Rebel has shown a good attitude, it may have been slightly sort of heightened by De Vere Cliffs' antics later on. Head carriage quite high here, De Vere Cliffs, you think he's going to swoop and go past, but just once he's got, once De Vere Cliffs has got to sort of Richard Kingscote knee, that's sort of where yeah. the vehicle goes, yeah, I'm just going to stay here, I think. The head-on might show us a little bit more, but she looked to be hanging that way a little bit and leaning in. Her head carriage looked a little bit awkward and it looked like she was going to go past and then she didn't. Now, you credit the winner with finding plenty for pressure and now three from three for the season, really progressing. But I think that he, the difference was that he wanted it a little bit more. Um, the horse who's right out the back of the, the shot at the moment, Outback Blue, sticks on quite well in the closing stage and was being hung on to by uh, Fantasy Gladiator, who travelled really nicely through the race. Andrew Mullen with a, a brave ride round the inside, I suppose, saving all the ground and waiting for the splits and hasn't been beaten too far. Um, that horse has run really well and probably wanted them to go a little bit quicker for a little bit longer. Brandon Castle makes a challenge down the outside, was just a little bit keen, but drop back in trip to an extent has suited that horse and I think over this distance in a strongly run race there's a race to be won with Brandon Castle who seems to go all right around here pretty well around here and um, might just want as